What's up everybody, this is Scratch26 here bringing you another MOB video. And what's special about this one is if you can tell by the map, it is a 3v3 MOB. How crazy is that? And I actually got two MOBs in this day and um, one was on this map and then like two games later I got another one on a 2v2 with Crimson and when I show you that video it's pretty cool what he does for me. Um, yeah, <laughs> you'll just have to wait till the next video. This one is really campy. If you guys know how to get a mob on 3v3 without camping, then more power to you. That That's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, so I'll just let you guys sit back and watch the gameplay, and I'll talk about my update for the Highway Patrol that I've been doing so far. Um, so I got a call on Friday. No, today's Friday. <laughs> I got a call on Wednesday. Um, it's probably Saturday by the time you guys are watching this, but I got a call on Wednesday while I was working, and um, they wanted me to come in to do the polygraph test, which is the lie detector, if you don't know. Um, so I, I was like, sweet, they're moving me along here. Because uh, I, I was just sitting there for a while, not really knowing anything, not sure what was going on, or what the next step was like I knew it was polygraph but like I heard that I wasn't gonna be able to make the November one so I just figured I wouldn't be talked to for a while which was kind of upsetting but what you gonna do so I went in today and the lady I was supposed to talk to uh, had to go get lunch it was her day to get it so I had to do um, I had to learn like what to do today for the polygraph from her boss who was talking and talking and told me one thing that made it seem like she wanted me for the November Academy. There's two that are going on. One's in November. That's the first one. Then there's one in February. My goal, obviously, is to get in the one in November. Um, but I was told that I did not rank high enough for this. I believe I made a video about it and said this, but what you going to do? Um, so I was kind of upset about that, but I was told not to get down or anything because still getting in the academy even if it is the february one will be good like i can't be upset about that um so yeah but she made it seem like she said something i can't remember that made it seem like i would get into the november one and i i questioned her on it i was like sweet i'm you guys are looking for me for the november one she was like yeah is that a problem and i was like no <laughs> whatever i said i don't know but um so she said that and I'm all like happy and on my way to the polygraph place because it was like 10 minutes away. I actually called my parents and told them uh, the good news. I don't know why it lagged here. I think because Michi sent me a message. Dang Michi sending me messages. Ugh, lagging my videos. Because I, I had to record this because who would do good in uh, face off? But I, I guess I did. <laughs> so yeah. So on my way there, it's all good, whatever. Uh, I get to the polygraph place. This, like, it's in a old hotel. Like, their office is two hotel rooms with the walls taken down and put up where they want them to. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, but there's like four polygraph stations with like computers and it's crazy like I don't want to tell you guys too much about it because when I asked uh, they were like did you do much research about polygraph testing and I don't think they want you to know about polygraphs so I don't want to say too much just in case you guys take one that way you can't say oh yeah I heard from cracks <laughs> they'll be like who's cracks and then you'll have to go into a long story and I, I want to save you guys from that are you guys watching this watch oh I'm dead I bet you guys didn't see that coming Oh, what what happened? I was on a 22 kill streak. What? Maybe this isn't a mo video. Maybe I picked the wrong video. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> so, just some brief questions they asked was like I don't know, like I really can't even remember. Like it just happened um not even 12 hours ago. Less than like 10 hours ago, and I still can't remember. Like I I don't know. I have a really bad memory, but I don't <laughs> I don't know. I know that some were like about sex questions like have you ever had sex in public or masturbated in public and stuff like that. Um, and they 
one, oh, one other one I do remember is, is everything on your application and everything correct? And like, uh, are you not leaving something out because you don't want someone to find out or something like that? Because that'd be a dumb idea. <laughs> like they're, they're going to find out. It's nearly impossible. Uh, they do a huge background check, which leads me to the next thing. Eh, no, I'll get to that in a sec. So then I went back after the polygraph. I still don't know how I did. They can't tell you, which sucks. Because, like, I'm scared. Like, even though I know I haven't done anything in my life that would stop me from being a cop, that doesn't mean that, com that the computer thinks that, like, maybe it thinks I lied or something. I don't know, because I was really scared the whole time, and it's just weird to be all hooked up like that and have to sit perfectly still. Like, I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like it, but... If I get a call on Monday, that means that I have to go back and retest on the portion that I failed. If I do not get a phone call on Monday, that means that they are sending my background to, or the paperwork from my background, to a police officer, and he's going to do that, and that takes about three to four weeks, which is going to cut it really close for the November one. So I actually talked to my friend who is a cop, and he said, um, just be patient and hopefully because he knows I haven't really done anything my whole life so he said with your clean background it shouldn't take all that long just they want to talk to your parents and neighbors and everyone um, I heard that they like go around your neighborhood and talk to you talk to them about you I don't know how true that is it's probably not but whatever so keep your fingers crossed for me please <laughs> I am hoping for that look at that C4 what a chuck <laughs> so after I got back from that uh, they were like okay now we're sending you off to get fingerprints which was pretty much in the same parking lot you just had to go around the corner a little bit uh, that's really cool now like they don't use ink or anything it's like a computer that like I don't know they put water on your fingers and it prints it out I, I don't know it was really cool um, if you guys have done that or know what I'm talking about leave a comment tell me what you guys thought of it because I thought it was really weird how that happened because when you got the paper it looked like there was ink on the paper but obviously there wasn't because <laughs> you were just there and doing it and there was no ink involved then after that I went back and they sent me another place I did a lot today uh, I had the day off of work, so I was able to just run around and do all this. Thank God for for this job. Did you guys see how many bullets was left? Go back and check that out. I think I had like four bullets in the clip. I had to get every single bullet into that guy to get the kill, and even that was impressive that I got it. Um, <laughs> I Sorry, I missed it, but if you guys didn't see that, it, it's pretty sick how close I called that. So I went in to get a drug test, which... Again, wasn't in the greatest part of town. Not, I, I don't know why that's happening. Like, all these bad places of town. Like, it's not bad, but it, it's not the high-end portion. I'll tell you that. Uh, this was just a normal drug test. It wasn't blood or anything. It was just, like, one of those little pee test things. Uh, I did that for my gym job, which was weird. I, I don't know what they were looking for. Steroids or something? <laughs> I don't know. Um... But again, you don't get to hear the test results for that as well, which suck. <laughs> but again, I'm not worried at all because I've never done drugs. <laughs> like, um, like in high school, people always ask, hey, want to come smoke with us? And I'd be like, no, I'm, I don't really want to. And I always use the hockey excuse saying I got hockey or um, I'm... I'm into sports and I don't really want to get into all that. That's pretty much what I said. Uh, and it always worked. Right here, I noticed that there was a minute left and I was like, crap, I'm getting close to the mob. I don't want to lose it because of the game like ending on me. So I was like, guys, I'm going to go move around and get some kills here so that way I can hopefully get it. Uh, let's see if I end up doing it. Um, so I know I passed the drug test. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Look how close that kill is. All I need is one more. Time's running low. Oh, mob. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Mob. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, then, after the background check, 
I think I have to do a psychological and I have to go to a doctor to do like a physical test to make sure I'm actually in health. Look at that one kill with a mob. What's up with that? But gets the game winning kill and gets the job done. So what you going to do? Uh, so please guys keep your fingers crossed for me to uh, get this job. If I do, I'll be having some sick commentaries about like what I see on the road and stuff. But and and possibly I could do like a whole run through of what you do in the academy. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that on YouTube. Look at that score. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at all them deaths <laughs> that the other people have. And for today's bonus clip, we have a YouTuber, Morbid Productions, and right now he has zero subscribers. I'm going to go subscribe right now. I would really like you guys to go. Um, like I said, he has zero, and after this video, I would love to go and look to see how many subscribers he has. Please go help him out. Um, he's got a lot of these ninja diffuses, and I was looking, and it looks like he has about a video. Like, he's been uploading quite a few videos. I don't know if he can really do, like, HD ones or anything like that, um, but I don't know. If we can go get him, maybe he, he'll start doing more, and that'd make me feel good, because I've been getting some support from, like, tie-dye and... Uh, sunny so if you guys can go help him out and that'd be great so if you guys enjoyed the this video please give it a like um, if you have yet to subscribe please click the c26 anywhere throughout any of my videos and it brings you to the subscribe page I don't, I don't know what you call that <laughs> um, yeah so if you want to go check out Madison's website it's right there and other than that, have a great day, guys. Peace.